Today we're going to go through the basics of how to choose a sleeping bag. There are many factors to consider, but the most important factor is the temperature which you'll be sleeping at. It's important before you go on your trip to find out the temperature at night where you'll be camping. As soon as you've got this temperature in mind, you can then start to choose your bag. The comfort temperature refers to the average temperature at which a woman will feel comfortable in this sleeping bag. The limit temperature, which is usually five degrees lower than the comfort, is the same test done with a man. What we can say from these two variables is that the average person will feel not too hot and not too cold between these two temperatures. Let's say, for example, you will be sleeping at five degrees. You would want to choose a sleeping bag with a comfort rating of five. That gives you flexibility to know that the sleeping bag will be okay between the values of zero and five degrees. You can also choose your sleeping bag based on the measurement of season. There are four seasons, the first of which is for sleeping bags around the 10 degree comfort rating. The second for sleeping bags around five, the third for sleeping bags around zero degrees, and the fourth for sleeping bags of a comfort of minus five. The next factor to consider when choosing your sleeping bag is comfort. The first thing that determines comfort is shape. There are two main shapes of sleeping bags. We have mummy sleeping bags and square sleeping bags. Square shaped sleeping bags offer you more freedom of movement, but also you'll find that they don't go as low in temperature rating. Mummy sleeping bags on the other hand are more restrictive and because of this can go to a lower temperature rating. Other advantages of mummy shaped sleeping bags are that because there's less fabric, you tend to find they're more lightweight. Square shaped sleeping bags tend to be better for camping as they can be zipped together and created into duvets. Mummy sleeping bags on the other hand tend to be better for situations where lightweight and compactness is more needed. Another factor when choosing a sleeping bag is the insulation inside the sleeping bag. We have two main types of insulation in Decathlon. We have down and we have synthetic. Both down and synthetic have both advantages and disadvantages. Down is very lightweight and compact but is not very good when it's wet. Synthetic, on the other hand, is very good when it's wet, but is quite bulky and heavy. Another advantage of synthetic over down is it's much more affordable. The next factor to consider is the materials which your sleeping bag is made of. We tend to use either organic cotton or synthetic materials. Organic cotton is very fine and soft against the skin, but also quite heavy. Great for family camping. Sometimes on our sleeping bags, you'll find that the exterior is normal synthetic and the interior is what we call brushed polyester. This allows the material to feel like cotton but have all of the benefits of synthetic. Lastly, when choosing a sleeping bag you'll want to look at the features. Features can include pairing zips which allow you to pair two sleeping bags together as one double. Another feature which is very useful is the ability to cinch down the hood in order to keep more heat inside the sleeping bag. 